Hey YouTube, this is Trains and Destinations, and in today's video we're going to be doing a phone unboxing. And without further ado, here is the phone. So in today's video I'm going to unbox the LG V40 ThinQ. Now the reason why I decided to get this phone is because I wasn't planning on getting this phone, but right now I, it's on sale at Best Buy for $350. That's right, just $350. For some context, when this phone came out back in 2018, it cost brand new $950. So right now, it's $600 off the original price, which in my opinion is just incredible. You know, LG, when it comes to LG phones, I mean, they're basically in the background. When anyone thinks of Android, they always think of Samsung, essentially. You always think of Samsung or Google with their Pixel phones. LG is kind of lost in the background. And so as a result of that, their phones just don't hold their value that well. And so that's partially the reason why this phone, which was never really popular to begin with, is so cheap now. But at $350 in 2020, um, I guess you could say that I'm going to be answering the question of, is it worth it? Now, when it comes to the three to four hundred dollar price range, it's a very hot price range for phones nowadays, especially as more and more people are looking more towards the mid range budget side of things. So, for example, um, like I said, this phone is three hundred and fifty dollars brand new right now. Uh, if you really want a link to the phone, just make a comment and I'll link you to where I got this phone from. But anyway, so this phone is three hundred and fifty dollars. If you were to buy a brand new phone today, essentially a mid-range phone, for around $300, you could get the new Moto G Stylus. You could also get the Samsung Galaxy A50. If you increase your budget up to $400, you can get yourself, at least at the time of recording this video, you can get yourself a Google Pixel 3a, possibly the 4a. That hasn't come out yet as of when I'm recording this video, but right now you can get the Google Pixel 3a for about $400, as well as the iPhone SE. So you got those four phones, the Moto G Stylus, Galaxy A50, iPhone SE, Pixel 3a. All those phones are in the three to $400 price range, and so that is a pretty competitive price range. And then this phone, like I said, it slots right in the middle at $350. Uh, but the question is, is this two-year-old flagship better or roughly equivalent to the mid-range phones that we're seeing today? And I would say that pretty much... At minimum, this phone is equivalent, but overall, this is a much better phone to get. I think, personally, you're better off getting a two-year-old flagship phone than you are getting a mid-range phone. Now, not that these mid-range phones are bad, but it's just that when you look at the specs of this phone, it's still better than most mid-range phones out today. And so, before I get into the specs, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So, as you can see, it comes in an all-black box. You have, it's a matte black box, as you can see at the bottom you have some labels, um, including some features. You got DTS, um, DTS surround sound. Um, this has, of course, LG's boombox speaker, Qualcomm Snapdragon, and some other stuff. You got your Hey Google on the left, and the reason is because this phone actually does have a dedicated Google Assistant button, which I'll show. And then on the back of the phone, oops. It just essentially just includes what comes in the box. It's pretty faded lettering. And then the other side of the phone has your IMEI and other information such as that. So without further ado, let's go ahead into the actual unboxing. So I did cut the seal on it already. So top of the box just lifts off. And what you're first greeted with is essentially a microfiber cloth. And as you can see, the microfiber cloth has um, LG embossed into it. So I think that's pretty cool. And then you're greeted with the phone itself. So if you look at the front, it tells you some of the features. This phone ha does have five cameras on it, two on the front, three on the back. And sort of the, the funny thing, though, is that I believe this was the first major, one of the first major smartphones to have three cameras on the back. In 2018, most phones had dual cameras, but uh, this phone has uh, three cameras, as you can see. And, um, you know, LG, they were pretty early. They were one of the first phone makers to put two cameras on their phones and one of the first to put three. And uh, 
it'll be funny to see if they're one of the first that puts uh, four cameras onto their phones. So what you got here essentially is you have a, a main shooter, you got an ultra wide camera, as well as a 2x telephoto zoom lens. So you got three cameras that all have a separate function, which is very nice. You don't got your stupid little, you know, depth sensor or monochrome cameras or cameras that are just for show. All three of these cameras perform a different function. They all have their purpose. Underneath, you got your fingerprint sensor and your LG V40 um, labeling. I think them calling these phones now the Thin Q, it's, it's just ridiculous. Just call it the V40. Don't call it a Thin Q. I don't know why LG decided to change up the naming like that. But um, going over the phone itself, at the top, you got your antenna bands as well as your microphone. On the right-hand side, you have a power button. So this is one of the first LG phones in which has a dedicated power button because a lot of them have the power button on the back combined with the fingerprint reader, but this one has its own power button. And you have your SIM and SD card slot tray. Um, on the bottom of the phone, you do have a headphone jack. This is one of the last flagship phones to have a headphone jack. You have your USB-C charging port as well as your speaker. On the left-hand side of the phone, here in the middle, you have your dedicated Google Assistant button as well as your volume rockers. And that's essentially an overview of the phone without taking off anything. And as you can see at, at the top, you do have, you do have two front-facing cameras. You have a standard selfie lens and a wide-angle selfie camera. So you got a lot of cameras on this phone. So in terms of the specs, this phone has a Snapdragon 845 processor. So this was the flagship processor from two years ago. In addition to that, it has 6 gigabytes of RAM, which most flagship phones today have 6 gigs of RAM. And this phone has 64 gigabytes of internal storage, which is a little lacking. A lot of flagships today have more than 64 gigs. They usually have 128 or 256. So the 64 gigs is really the only indication that this is a slightly older phone. That, and of course, it does have a little notch on the top. But for the most part, though, these specs are still excellent. For, by today's standards, still excellent. Um, and so they're really good specs, I gotta say, really good. So anyway, continuing through the unboxing, um, this is a little thing that tells you that this phone comes with a two-year warranty, and it tells you, you know, congratulations, thank you for buying the phone, yada, yada, yada. So you get that in the box. And then in here, you get a little box inside of the box, which I'll open up real quick. Pretty elegant. And inside you got your SIM tool, which as you can see, it's a pretty large SIM tool, but it's nice that they include that in the box. In addition, you get your, here a, a quick start guide, as well as a product and safety information. Now, like I said, for the record, I did get this phone brand new. It's just that before this video, I did open the box. So this isn't open box. This is brand new, sealed. It's just I did um, open everything just to check it out before I started the video. Just saying. Now, continuing on, this here is your LG charging brick. So this is a fast charger, as you would expect. Um, pretty familiar looking. Uh, the only previous LG phone I've really had was briefly I had an LG G6 to try out. I got it used, and it was a pretty good phone. Um, the only thing, though, is that the battery on it was just terrible. The battery life was terrible on it. But I think that was more to do with the fact that it was a used phone rather than um, the phone has just bad battery life. But that's really the only major LG phone I've used. Um, just for my phone history, my first smartphone was a Samsung Galaxy Note 4 that I got secondhand from my older brother. That was back in 2015 I got that phone. Yeah, 2015. And then after that, I went to a Moto Z, the first generation Motorola Moto Z which my brother also got, and I got it slightly secondhand. And then after the Moto Z, I then, you know, decided I wanted to get a phone of my own. So I more or less went to the budget side of things. I got the Moto E4, Moto E4 Plus. Around the same time, I experimented with iPhones. I had an iPhone SE for a couple months. Um, and at this point, I have two mid-range Motorola phones. So right now, I have a Moto G6. That's in fact, I'm recording this video on a Moto G6, and I also have a Moto G7 Play. So I have two mid lower mid-range phones right now. 
I bought this phone just to try out, but also because I do want a flagship again. I want to have that flagship experience. And I figured, hey, $350, it's, I couldn't pass it up. I couldn't. But anyway, so like I said, you have your USB-C fast charger, and then this is the USB-C cable. And then the last thing that comes in the box are these, which I didn't expect, but these are actually earbuds. So that's very nice that that gets included in the box. And as you can see, um, these are very nice. You got your ear tips here. The cable is braided, which is very nice. And in addition to that, you got dedicated volume control. So that's really, really, really nice. And so that's basically the unboxing. But before I do that, let's go ahead and unwrap and I'll show off this phone just a little bit more. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do that. Oh yes. Oh look at that thing. Look at that thing. So you can see this is a big phone. This is a 6.4 inch. 1440p OLED display. Yeah, this is a big, big phone. So for comparison, I'll put next to this my Moto G7 Play, which that has a 5.7 inch display. So I'll put it next to here. And yeah, you can see the you can see the size difference. It's a pretty significant difference. Although surprisingly though, in terms of the width. The LG is not that much wider than the Moto. Um, and that's because, of course, you got your modern 18 to 9 aspect ratio and all that. So even though this phone has a 6.4-inch display, it's not a monster phone. My Galaxy Note 4 is a monster. This isn't a monster because it is a very tall phone, which is definitely a plus. So it's definitely not huge. It's not a huge phone. It's a big phone, but it's not unmanageable. I mean, holding it in the hand... Um, I mean, yeah, this is pretty big, but I do think it is manageable. So this is typically how you hold the phone. But again, man, this thing is big. But look at the back. You got this mirror black shine on the back. It looks awesome. Like, this thing looks awesome. And I like how the cameras are almost flush. Um, I can't show the bottom because that has the IMEI info on it and stuff. But, yeah, you can see how the reflections. This is a very nice, very sweet looking phone. Also something I'm going to throw in the case, because this thing is very slippery, it's an all-glass phone, and so this is the kind of phone that you want to have in the case, so <laughs> you'd be pretty foolish not to put this thing in the case, but anyway, I'm um, pretty excited to have this phone and to try it out, and you know, it's interesting. I said maybe after using this I'll put up a little update video or something and, uh, you know, answer the question, you know, is this phone better than buying a... You know, a mid-range phone, a brand new mid-range phone. Is it better to buy the brand new mid-range phone or is it better to get your, you know, two-year-old flagship? Now, I think the flagship is the better way to go, but uh, we'll see what happens. So anyway, thank you all for watching my unboxing video of the LG Z40 ThinQ.